Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch, and tonight I am at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, and I've come to the McClellan Gymnasium, which is actually over there. I'm walking by the library now to do volleyball photography, and I've been shooting a whole lot with my R7 lately, but today I decided to shoot with my R6 because this is kind of a lower light, higher ISO situation, which is better suited to the R6 than the R7. Tonight I used the 24 to 70 f2.8 and the 70 to 200 2.8 lenses. I shot at 1 800th of a second wide open 2.8 and automatic ISO, which kind of hung around anywhere from 2500 to 6400 ISO. So let's take a look at some of these shots. Here are other volleyball pictures. I thought it was really difficult to do volleyball because a lot of times there is too much traffic and it's hard to get a clear shot of where the action is. But on this shot, I was able to get a clear shot of number 25 as she is setting the ball using the 24 to 70 at 54 millimeters, one 800th of a second wide open at 2.8 and the ISO is 3200. And you can see all of those settings up here in the top left. Here's another shot and number 25 is setting the ball again. This is a 38 millimeter shot with the 24 to 70 and uh, UTC the team I'm actually trying to photograph is in the gray jerseys and I found out that if I spent a lot of time on the same side of the court with the team I was trying to photograph, I ended up getting a lot of pictures without their face in the shot, which I didn't really like. This particular shot I do have this girl's face in the shot. It looks 6400 ISO at 1 800, and that is why I'm using the R6 for this because it is better able to handle 6400 ISO than the R7. Here's uh, some of the UTC players way off the ground being defenders and and here's another example of that activity, a 45 millimeter shot. Here is a 70 millimeter shot. One has been hit across and the girls from UNC Asheville attempting to block it. And here's number 25 setting it again. It looks like number six is coming up to smash it. Here's number 12 working on a smash. And here is UNC Asheville hitting one across and you can see our girls are high off the ground and they're blocking this one. So that is really cool on this 36 millimeter shot. And here is another 70 millimeter shot as number one is setting it. Looks like number 12 is getting ready to come up and smash it. And here is number 12 smashing it or just about to smash it. It's really hard to get the lines straight because you're not holding you're shooting with a pretty wide lens like this is 24 millimeters and you're not holding the camera level front to back so the lines are just crazy all over the place in this gym you kind of just have to make the best compromise you can but look how high this girl is off the ground about to try to smash this shot and here is a 24 millimeter shot now i've moved really close to the net and the reason i moved so close to the net is i wanted to try to get some of the players faces in the shots but um sometimes that worked better than others i've done some some college beach volleyball i do have this girl's face in the shot pretty good on this shot she's making this 52 millimeter shot and there's much less players so there's less chance of somebody getting in the way of your shot when there's just two players instead of many more like there is in team volleyball here is another utc player about to send one back across the net and here is number eight just about to smash it but the ball's not on the screen that is kind of a fail on my part i do have a shot later in this sequence with the ball on the screen but it just didn't look as good the the body position I thought was better in this shot even though the ball is not on the screen. Here is another UTC player field in one 38 millimeter shot and now she's about to hit it across the net another 35 millimeter shot and I really would have liked to have been at a little bit faster shutter speed than 1 800th it almost makes me wish I had bought the 28 to 70 f2 because I could have gotten a lot more shutter speed without bringing my ISO up too high with that lens. High action shot the UNC Asheville players trying to hit it across and we have defenders in position. Now one of our girls is doing the exact same thing about to hit it towards the UNC defenders. UNC Asheville, another similar shot and yet another one. And now I have switched. I've, I'm still using the 24 to 70, but I've gone to the UNC Asheville side of the net and I'm trying to shoot through the net so I can see our players' faces more. And that was very difficult because a lot of times the UNC Asheville player would be closer and the camera might focus on her because of that or the camera might focus on the net. But sometimes I was able to shoot through the net and get some, some pretty cool shots shooting through the net still with the 
24 to 70 here and another 24 to 70 shot shooting through the net remember i'm trying to to concentrate on the utc players in the gray jerseys with the blue on the side and here's one of the better ones this is the first shot where i've switched to using the 70 to 200 and i've scooted way back and of course that brings on more problems because now you've got more people that could be in your way but every once in a while i would get a shot like this where there's clear focus on her face as the utc player is up in the air and hitting the ball over the net and that's really what i was trying to capture here's another similar shot i think the focus is actually on the net but it's not so bad that you you, you can still see her face pretty clear so we'll let that one slide on this 79 nine millimeter shot here's another i think the focus is more on their face in this one another 79 millimeter shot and here is another one lots of through the net try to get focus on the utc players in this section and here's another shot of that same variety i'm using the 70 to 200 but this shot's only 70 millimeters and this is a style of shot that i wish i had gotten more of kind of a post play uh celebratory shot and with the 70 to 200 you could almost make a portrait of this sort of a thing this is a 200 millimeter shot and now i'm back on the same side of the net as our players but i'm still using the 70 to 200 i was thinking that i would try to get some more up close type of shots and i'm not sure if it worked out all that great because the player's way off the ground but you can't really tell it because i don't have a wide enough angle on this shot here's another um, post shot celebration photo at 200 millimeters kind of a close up and now i have switched to the 24 to 70 once again and i'm working once again kind of in the same style that i did at the very beginning of this shoot and continuing to proceed in that way and you know I, I really kind of liked using the wrong side of the net idea and this is something that didn't happen very often at all usually if the action was all the way on the far side of the court then the people nearer to me would be where the focus landed but on this particular one i think i used single point and was able to catch focus on number 13 all the way across and have her be in focus while all these players didn't steal the focus away so that turned out all right on this 42 millimeter shot and here's a serving shot this uh, the serving shots are it's kind of low-hanging fruit in terms of volleyball photos so i didn't share too many of those but here is one serving shot and here is just about to get a smash type of shot right here and this is definitely a smash shot we have uh we have ball compression on this shot and here is another shot number eight's just about to smash this one and on this one i had it i had the shot wide enough to where the ball is in the shot so while that may not always be the best look i like where every player on the floor is watching what's going on intently it's pretty cool and here is a post shot victory celebration that they do and they they will come and and uh, kind of all visit for just a second whether they win or lose the point which i think is kind of interesting team building there wow look how high she's she is off the ground getting ready for this smash and now utc has won they played five games and the first team to win three wins the match and utc won three of the first four and this was the celebration right when they won the match and there's a, a an nfl player named terrell owens he was a wide receiver for a long time i think he's in the hall of fame but he went to utc and he was at the match so after it was over terrell owens or t.o posed with the volleyball team all right thanks for joining me from right here at the university of tennessee in chattanooga and the mcclellan gymnasium i hope you enjoyed it Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and all that stuff. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.